Daisy, how do you manage your symptoms? It's almost like a day-to-day -day impossibility. It's You have to plan everything months in advance to make sure you can do it and you can rest up before, but you also need to be able sometimes just to get up and go and it takes away a lot of that being able to get up and go. It, because my main symptoms are sort of chronic fatigue and insomnia, it's like trying to do everything whilst walking through mud. It's being so tired and then as soon as you get into bed you can't sleep and it's just like an ongoing nightmare. So it makes everything much more difficult. But I think you just have to go day by day and sort of hope for the best. You rest up when you can. I always try to put on a sort of big smiley brave face because I don't want people to see it gets me down. I don't want to be the, the downer. I want to, to be the okay. I want everyone to think I'm okay. <laughs> So how do you, um, are you still medicated now? Do you take, yeah. yeah, I take quite a bit of medication still because a lot of my symptoms are not under control. I'm still on steroids, which is the main medication, and they cause all sorts of yeah. problems. They're rather irritating. But um, they do their job, so you just stick to the, to the meds and, and hope that you'll get better. <laughs> okay. I just would much rather be happy and, and making sure that everyone else is happy because what I really want. How do you manage your symptoms? I manage my symptoms day to day. I um, have good days and bad days. On a bad day I just have to rest up and not do a lot and try and reserve my energy. On a good day I try to be as normal as possible. I like to go out on my push bike, ride bike, walk the dogs, cross the fields. Do you get much support from your family? I get a lot of support from my wife and daughter, yes. I think um, without that help it would be very hard, especially for a person on their own who has to cope with lupus. And what about your doctor? Was My doctor was brilliant in my um, treatment and discovery that I had lupus. Um, he admitted he didn't know much about lupus before I had it as he had not come across it much and we both have swatted up together and but he still admits I know more than he does. So how's it affected your work? Uh, my work, I've been off sick uh, for over two years. I've now gone back I'm now back to full time though I did come back part time to start with. My work uh, Air Products PLC were brilliant in my time off work. They've helped me with occupational health and, and looked after my family and myself. How do you manage your symptoms? Well, the first thing is um, I adhere to my medication and I'm really strict with that. I also um, adapt to my lifestyle. I take the lifts whenever I can instead of stairs. Um, I take steroid medication, so I really watch what I eat. So I eat lots of fruits and veg fruit and vegetables. Um, I tend to eat most about fifty percent of my food is raw. Do things like online shopping quite a lot because of the fatigue. So I, you know, get things delivered instead of lugging things around. I ask friends and family for help. I live I, with my sister, so um, she does a lot of the housework. Mm -hmm. And she's really good at it, uh, at helping, I mean. And I ask friends, and they're quite happy to help out with things like the garden. I, at work, I manage my time effectively, so I make sure that I'm still a valuable person I, make, I, I tend to make the most of the time that I spend around people and I contribute so that when I'm not there, it, I'm not missed so much. <laughs> Managing the illness does involve a lot of planning and I do have to plan a lot. I give notice because of my fatigue again. I give allow a lot of time so if something if they say it's going to take it's a 10 minutes walk I allow myself 20 minutes so that I can get to places on time and I wouldn't stress myself too much mm -hmm. I'm also very realistic about what about the things that I can do and I always try to be as positive as I can so I do what's necessary and then I do what's possible. And before I know it, I'm doing the impossible.